I mean, why, why do I have to, you know, repent? Why do I have to ask for forgiveness? Wait, but, but have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I try and lead a life where I don't have to ask God for forgiveness. I want to ask you about faith, because you talked about this on Saturday at this uh, Faith and Values Forum, and I think and a lot of people haven't heard you talk about it and were really interested. Okay, fine. Um, in Iowa. And by the way, I was very well received. I had the biggest standing ovation, the biggest standing ovation, and it was really a great day. It was really a great day. And, and a lot of people didn't focus on it because they got caught up in the whole McCain thing. You said at the Faith Forum, when asked if you've ever asked forgiveness from God, you said, I'm not sure I have. I just go on and try to do a better job from there. I don't think so. And that surprised some, some well, people I don't think faith. so. You know, and then I said communion. I go to communion, and that's asking forgiveness. You know, it might For you, that's, that's what communion Well, it's is. a form of asking for forgiveness. Yes, communion. And I go to church a lot. But you, and I'm Protestant. I'm but, Presbyterian. But you... It, at the idea of asking for forgiveness, that's not a central, is that a central tenet for you? Is that, or is that something well, that just... Well, I, I like to work where I don't really have to ask for, I like to do the right thing where I don't have to actually ask for forgiveness. Does that make sense to you? You know, where you don't make such bad things that you don't have to ask for forgiveness. I mean, I try and lead a life where I don't have to ask God for forgiveness. But I'm Protestant, I'm Presbyterian, which a lot of people are surprised to hear. I go to church. The great Norman Vincent Peale was my minister for years. The power of positive thinking was fantastic. And so for forgiveness, that, that notion of forgiveness, um, that's not a central Well, I try not you. to make mistakes where I have to ask for forgiveness, for one thing. So when I'm asked a question like that, it's like, you know, I don't like to make a lot of mistakes. So, and I would never ask the detail, but the idea of repentance, is that something that's important to you? I think repenting is terrific. But, I mean, is that, but do you feel the need to? If, if I that, make a mistake, me, if I make a mistake, yeah, I think it's great. But I try not to make mistakes. I mean, why? Why do I have to, you know, repent? Why do I have to ask for forgiveness if you're not making mistakes? I work hard. I'm an honorable person. I have thousands of people that work for me. I've employed tens of thousands of people over the years. You give millions to charity. I give. I built the Vietnam. Memorial in Lower Manhattan L with Let a small group of people. At the Faith Forum, you talked about communion, the Eucharist, the Lord's Supper, different faiths, right. all the different things. You said that you drink my little wine and have my little cracker. We were having fun. The room left. We no, were all saying, together. But some people of faith there said, Let, said that they... They didn't they, say that at all. Well, when, when I left, I saw people... I got, I got the biggest ovation of the weekend. I saw people, and I saw how a couple of reporters made a big deal out of that. We were having fun when I said, I drink the wine, I drink, I, I eat the cracker. But we're Eric? talking about communion. Okay. And you know what? The whole room was laughing. And they're religious people, and they're great people. They're great people. But the whole room was laughing. Eric